You guys are smoking cigars on the job? What is wrong with you? I got cuffs, I got cuffs. Put your hands right out in front of you. Put your hands right out in front of you. Let's see your hands. Are you Matthew or Paul? Excuse me, first of all, who are you? Do what you gotta do. Come and rest me. Hello guys, in this video I wanna show some truly amazing stories, I won't make excuses for the suspects, but what the cops are doing, in my opinion, is out of line. As a reminder, every like and comment is important for me, and of course, if you can do that, click the thanks button. Thank you, and let's get started. You guys are smoking cigars on the job, what is wrong with you? You guys are supposed to be police officers. Look at these guys. Jerk offs. You alright, man? Yo. Smoking cigars on the job. Yeah. This is ridiculous. He's yeah, got it in his hand. And he's asking me what he's doing. You want me to shave your head a little bit more? You see something in my head? Yeah, head? it's behind you. What's, what's behind you, bro? So, what's your problem? Look at this. Both of them should be ashamed of yourselves. I decided to show you this short video to remind you once again who cops are. They are ready to find people for any minor offense and they are smoking on the job in a public place, apparently it's an underpass or something like that. They could at least apologize, but their egos don't allow it. And the next video will be about the cops arresting a man with a mental crisis. There is no question that he should have been arrested, but the cost of making that arrest really surprised me. Let's watch. On Saturday, March 11th, a resident in the Greer's Fork Drive area called 911 and stated that his neighbor was threatening him and police officers. Here is a portion of that 911 would call. 911, do you need police, fire, or medic? I need police. And what's going on that you'll need the police? Well, our neighbor, my neighbor is threatening me, threatening me, threatening me. Police, I have it on video. I'm, we're scared. Okay, and when you say he's threatening you, he's uh, doing in person on the phone? What yes, is he? on the phone with a megaphone. He's out in front of his yard. Police have been to the address of this home 46 times between September 2017 and present. They knew full well that this was not some dangerous gang member, but a person with mental health issues. The crisis intervention team had worked with are on the subject 13 times. Upon officer's arrival, the subject was using a megaphone while inside the home and refused to come outside. The subject's mother exited the residence and told officers that the male had a phone. This was the beginning of a nearly 30 hour armed standoff between the male and police. They have the, um, sit, sit pill. He has pills? Sit the, have the sick. Six. Six. Yes. Uh, revolver. Yeah. Mr. Ty, it's the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. We're outside. We're not going anywhere. We need you to step outside with your hands up. Nothing in your hands. After speaking with the subject's family, officers were able to determine that the male was the only person in the home. He had no hostages and could not harm anyone but himself. Okay, do lie, do you do do you hear me, officer? Yes. Um, so she says that he does have a revolver in his room or something. They began to use a loudspeaker device. At approximately 10.50 a.m., SWAT officers on scene approached the residence and breached the front door. Yeah, These police actions caused the subject to become fearful and he began communicating with the officers over the phone. The officers then backed away from the house. Shortly thereafter, officers observed the subject at the front door. The officers continued to speak with him on the phone. I want you to get help, bud, like, and I can, I will help you with that. But you've got to help me too, and I need you to come out. I need you to put that, I need you to put the gun down, all right? I'm not coming out, man. Do not leave that house with a gun in your hand. Do not. Listen, I can't be more clear than that right now, okay? 
do not walk out of that house with a weapon in your hands. I can't be any more clear right now. Do not do that. This is where the fun begins. First, the SWAT vehicle breaks down the door. Then they sent a drone into the house and broke out some more windows and doors. The cops cut the power to the house and sent another drone there. As you can imagine, the main objective was to neutralize this guy, not to try to let the specialists talk to him. And when he first showed up in the doorway, they started at him. He's trying to put the door back up, it looks like. Shot out. Uh, I want to make sure you're okay. We need you to come down to the front door with nothing in your hand. Now you get ready to move, but don't move yet. Even though he has mental problems, he probably felt scared, like an animal cornered. And while he was trying to leave the front door, snipers were shooting at him. He was so scared that he called the police to ask not to be shot. Of course, that's a pretty strange conversation, but what he wanted to convey was the fear of being shot. Show 911. Do you need police, fire, or medic? I thought a police, uh, a person, because he was holding a Pointing at police. And the police. I need to make a police report. Okay, well, where are you at so we can make that report? I'm in heaven. Oh, okay. I'm a ghost. Yeah, my name is Lucifer. I'm not real, alright? I'm in heaven. Okay. And I so call. And I call. This is, I'm the messenger of God, alright? God, the Holy Bible. I swear by the name of Jesus Christ. I saw the police. He was an idiot fool. Holding his cock back, pointing at them. Knowing damn well there's a sniper across the street. Cops moved cars out of the driveway to make it easier to shoot at the man. They even broke out a second story window. I thought it was to get inside, but no, the cops were just gradually destroying the house. I still don't understand why they couldn't just use tear gas and arrest him. And under what circumstances do you think he was arrested? The SWAT team stormed the place. Maybe they sneaked into the house. No, dozens of cops couldn't do anything and just waited for him to come out of the house. You're good, Auntie. Keep Keep walking towards us, brother. You're you're doing good. Keep walking towards us. Keep walking towards the sound of my voice. I got cuffs. I got cuffs. That's why I didn't even go back. That's why I didn't go back. That's why I didn't go back. That's why I didn't go back. Look at how they destroyed this family's home. Let me remind you, there was an ordinary mentally ill man in that house. Not a dangerous thug or a criminal holding someone hostage. There was just one person there. The actions of the cops made no sense. They might as well have just waited for him to come out of the house without breaking anything. And the next arrest happened very quickly and tragically for the suspect. But after reading the police report, I have some questions I'd like to discuss with you. Let's watch. We moved to Idaho, where police officers were patrolling the street and their workday ended with a call like this. It's white. He's running south on Lee. South on Lee. He just got behind the house into the... I don't know, he's still running down Lee. He's in a uh, gray and white jacket, blue pants, black hat. He just turned down fourth. Oh, shots fired, shots fired. He was clear here. 8104, shots fired. Officer needs help. going to be on fourth and Lee. Suspect down. Put your hands right out in front of you. Put your hands right out in front of you. Let's see your hands. Don't move. Don't, Don't move. move. I'm gonna pull Both hands are underneath him. I can see the right hand. Right hand's empty. Let's understand the situation. At first I didn't understand why there were so many shots, but most likely it was because the cop couldn't hit a running man. The second strange situation is that the cop did not even try to say stop or I will shoot. He immediately opened fire as soon as the man ran around the corner. See for yourself how little time the man had to react to the cop around the corner. Black hat. Turn down. Oh. 
It is not yet known what the guy was suspected of, but it is known that he had an unloaded gun on him without a magazine. And as you can imagine, he didn't even have time to surrender. And the last two short videos for today are about cops fishing. Of course, uh, the previous videos will be much more interesting for me to discuss with you and get your opinion. But I would like you to know how cops sometimes try to find reasons to detain or arrest. What's hey. up, man? You good? Yeah. What's up? All right, so. Are you Matthew or Paul or Hector? You're not in trouble, I'm literally just talking to you. Excuse me, first of all, who are you? My name's Officer Moore, how's it going today? Okay, and what's your badge oh. number? Right here, bud, 1643. Oh. Right here, bud, 1643. All right. You okay? Yeah, how Why? about yourself? Why are you like out of breath? I don't answer questions. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, anyways, just wanted to come say hi, just so you know, alright? A lot of theft happens in this parking lot to unsuspecting people. So, just wanted to stop by, say, you know, just keep an eye out when you're on your phone, alright? For that, me to keep an eye out yeah. with theft? Is, is that so bad? Yeah. I can't, I can't educate the public? And do a civil arrest or... Why would I civil arrest? What's a civil arrest? Or what do you... You want me to watch out for... What do you mean? Yeah, watch out for people committing crime. This is a high crime area. I don't want you to get your phone stolen or get carjacked or anything like that. Is that so bad? What makes you not want my car to get jacked? Is it nice or... Well... I can't just go out and inform the public. Let's even pretend that this cop is in line and he's actually catching criminals. Did he really think he would ask a criminal in a Walmart parking lot his name and the criminal would confess? Either this cop is a liar or he is the stupidest cop in the world. Because I see you just cruising around mm -hmm. and you just yeah. profiled me for some reason. Why would I profile you? I don't see you spreading the word to anyone else. Well, as you can see, my partners are over there, over at the front of Walmart too. Okay. So, look, I can tell you don't like me. You're profiling me. That's okay. I forgive you. Just be aware, okay? Is that so bad? I'm not being rude or anything okay. Am for I you being to rude? think in a negative way like that. Oh, so. okay. Am I being rude at all? Well, you are stopping traffic so oh she can go around she can move she can do whatever she wants it's a free country well anyways man i hope you have a good day okay so um uh, what's your favorite amendment out of the constitution Ooh, good question so hard to choose from what's yours you see, I asked the questions here. So. Oh, you asked the questions here? Oh man, that's not a nice game. But anyways, just have a good one, all right, Hector? Let me ask you one more thing. Well, I gotta go notify other people about the recent crime in this activity, remember? And the next incident happened at a gas station and the cop was a little more active. But both the first and second videos show how important it is not to answer questions from cops. Only in this way you can avoid trouble. I ain't giving you nothing. Get a sergeant out here. Any weapons or drugs in the car? You will never find out. Listen. 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 Is this car in your name? Man, you asking all the wrong questions. Sir, I want a traffic stop. Okay, you want to see? Come here, look. You tell me this is working? You could have... Damn it, them shit is still. Look, look how they're nice. So, no, that so your, your lights illuminate the tag. You see the 2009 decal on that? Listen, license registration for insurance. That's fine. You're on camera too. Nope. I'm not getting nothing. Get the side now, then I get it to you. Is this your car? Get it to you. Is this your car, your name? I'm not giving you nothing till you get a sergeant. Listen, we can do this very easy. We can do it the hard way, player. Yep. You know why? Nah. You will Start soon find in. out. Okay. We can do it the hard way. Get a sergeant out here. Police stop me. Talking about a tad, tad light out. And if he's lighting up, he see the decal. Call on the tag, player. Call on the tag.
The saddest thing about these videos isn't even that these cops are bothering regular people. It's that at this point the real criminals need to be caught and the cops are getting paid for wasted time. Sir, the car's not your name. The car's not your name. Who name is so, it? So, you need to prove to me that you have Who a driver's license it? that we can be on our way. Who name is it? Tawanda. A black okay, female. That's my name. No, it's not. That's my name. No, it's not. That's my name. You can prove to me you have a license, you'll be on your way. How simple as that. Get a sergeant out here, and I'll give you a license. What's your name, man? I don't have a name. No? Nah, so you wanna arrest me? Go right ahead. Why would you want that? Because I make it hard for you crackers. Why? You think you can stop black people in the Did poor I, community? I can't see what's inside. Mm, boy, them tits, them, that one that was dying. Okay, listen. Listen. Why would you want this hard way? Listen, I never because I love doing the hard way, man. I never done anything to you the first time yeah, I've Man, look here. Put, do what you gotta do. Come arrest me. Take me down, station four. We'll go to TGK, and I'll see you in court. That's why I want to do this. You understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. I don't. Okay, then. Then you're going to have to arrest me, then. Get a, get a sergeant out here. Friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss, and anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the Thanks button. This channel exists only because of you.